much, Chairman. So what, what I would like to, as we start the, the, the discussion today, because this, this got a lot of people's attention, and that's, what, that's the whole point. We're trying to uh, a better education in Tennessee. First of all, for those of you who may not be up, up to date, why have a chartering authority in the first place? Currently, we have two chartering authorities since we passed the bill a couple years ago where we lifted the caps off of charter schools in the state of Tennessee. We have two chartering authorities. We have the LEA, the Local Educational Association, and then we have the Achievement School District, or ASD. This legislation, 701, adds the state as a third chartering authority. Let me give you the reason why we are doing this. The current administration, since it took office in January 2011, has pushed two main goals. Those two goals are job creation and education reform. Now, this is not an, ed this is not a, an administration bill, but they are a stakeholder in this. We're trying to complement what we started out two years ago, job creation and education reform. Our industry, and I go around every day as well as many of you, our industry is telling us that they must have a better educated workforce if Tennessee is to continue to compete in not only in the national market but the global market. So how is this accomplished? Well, two years ago, as I just mentioned, with the passage of the charter school bill, Tennessee removed the caps on the number of charter schools Tennessee could have. But since that time, we have been challenged and attracting not only the best national charters, but as well as setting stringent application process and standards for our charter schools that desire to move into Tennessee. It is my belief as a former teacher that the best teacher challenges their students. And that's what I'm trying to do, what we're trying to do with this legislation, is that we will challenge not only our LEAs across the state, but we will also cha challenge the charter applicant by requiring the highest of standards. How are we going to do that in this bill? Well, first of all, in this bill, and this is what has changed since two weeks ago, the applicant, charter applicant, must first go to the LEA. The LEA, as we all know, they are very protective of their schools and their community and their district, and they will set high standards. That's number one. The LEA, the all, all applications of charters must go to the LEA first. But this is where the challenge comes in. But should any LEA fail to do their job to help, help the state move forward with education reform, then what we're doing through this bill is setting up a chartering authority of the state. And this is called the state panel in this bill. This panel is made up of nine members that are dedicated solely to this task. The panel is appointed three by the governor, three by the Speaker of the Senate, and three by the Speaker of the House. And, all, and we will have members suggested from the Tennessee School Board Association, the Tennessee Charter School Association, the Tennessee Organization of School Superintendents. And this panel will be governed by the best practices identified by NAXA, or the National Association of Charter School Authorizers. And I have Dr. Alex Medler here today if anyone in the committee needs to ask particular questions of exactly what is the charter school authorizer. Now, the panel is an independent agency of the state. All charter applications will first be submitted to the LEA, as I mentioned, and they will determine how it fits into their authority. If approved by the LEA, they will operate under the authority. The school will operate under the authority of the LEA. However, if the LEA does deny the, d deny the application, the applicant has the right to appeal to the state panel, as I just mentioned, within 10 days. The applicant may not make any substantial changes in the application as it comes to the state panel, and then the state panel has 60 days to accept or reject the appeal. If the panel accepts or denies the application, the decision is final. It goes no further. If the, if the, if the application is accepted, the charter applicant is a state charter and its performance is not attributable to the LEA. 
that is the overall gist of of what the bill covers. Now there there are other factors in there that, that go get into the uh, the weeds, but that is the overall factor of what we have in House Bill 701 at this time. With that, Mr. Chairman, I would uh, appreciate a motion to move out. 